This is a basic functionality test for SAPI 5 XML markup within the TTS engine. If you haven't done so already, please choose Microsoft Mary for your voice and check the box labeled ISK small before clicking on speak in order to begin the tutorial. Hello, my name is Microsoft Mike. Hello, my name is Microsoft Mary. Hello, my name is Microsoft Sam. Together we make up Microsoft SAPI 5 text to speech engine. With the use of XML tags, we can avoid the normal, default way that we read words and speak in general. First of all, you can choose which voice you wish to hear. Through the use of a voice tag, either Sam, Mary or myself can spell out words for you to. For example, the company Microsoft is spelled M-I-C-R-O-S-O-F-T. And the word Windows is spelled W-I-N-D-O-W-S. We can also change the rate at which we speak. I am speaking at three times my normal rate. And I am currently speaking at one third my normal rate. Our pitch can be easily manipulated as well. This is an example of a high pitch. And this is an example of a low pitch. Another way to adjust the prosody of our speech is through the use of a silence tag. With a silence tag, an end user can make one of us pause for up to 65,536 milliseconds. For example, I am pausing 500 milliseconds between each word of this sentence. The volume of our individual voices can also be raised and lowered through the use of XML tags. This is the loudest I can speak. In order to make our voices sound more natural, an emphasis tag can be used to allow us to place emphasis on certain words in a sentence. Compare the following two phrases, the movie will be this Friday. The movie will be this Friday. Pretty neat, don't you think? Don't worry, that isn't all that we can do through the proper use of XML tags. An end user can also decide which part of speech to use for each word in a sentence. Using the part of speech tag, we can force a certain pronunciation of a word without relying on the context around it. For example, the nominal pronunciation of the word compact is compact and the verbal pronunciation of the word compact is compact. We can also force certain pronunciations for modifiers, functions, interjections and abbreviations. Another great use of XML tags within the TTS engine is the creation of your own words. Perhaps you want the computer to say a word that is not in the lexicon, such as extracalifragilisticexpialidocious. As you just heard, we do not recognize this word and have to use letter to sound rules in order to try and guess at a proper pronunciation. The pronunciation tag may be used to force the correct pronunciation of the word extracalifragilisticexpialidocious. Wow, now tell me, doesn't that sound better? Now let's insert a bookmark here. Your application should have received a bookmark event with a bookmark that of 8 when speech synthesis has passed 8 this element in the input stream. Bookmark event is an easy way for an application to take action at a given point in the stream. Thanks for participating in this tutorial. I hope you had a better understanding of the basic functionality of XML tag usage within the TTS engine. Enjoy! Hey Mike, guess what? What? You talk like a lady. I do not talk like a lady, you moron. Yes you do, now shut up.